Hey, I try to create an AI inside of Minecraft. Not an outside AI, an inside AI. Features in the game that you can make an AI that can play the game. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe and let's get right into it. So, firstly, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something that can place blocks, that can throw items, that can defend itself, and that can move. This is my first iteration of the robotic AI. How this works is, if I were to say put these wonderful, wonderful cookies in here, there are villagers at the back, and when those villager moves, it will trigger the scope sensor. I am using 1.17. It will trigger the scope sensor to throw the cookie. So when anything moves on the villagers back there move, as you can see, it will throw the cookie. And it does this at random because the villagers' movements are also random. So I have five cookies and I'm not moving. Six cookies. I'm not moving at all. It's doing it on its own. Seven cookies. This is an interesting mechanic, and I like it, but it doesn't have everything I want. It has the ability to throw items, but it doesn't have the ability, ability to place anything or really do anything that special. So I take you to my second prototype. So, oh, oh, oh. What is happening? This is my next prototype. As you can probably tell, this prototype has the move. Get out of my way. This prototype has the moving thing. And yes, I am using the skulk sensors and armor stands to do this. Whenever vibrations happen, the armor stands move. You can see that with our little three Steve bots back here. The reason there's an observer there is just for visual purposes and to make it look better. But our Steve bots can move on command. Hut, hut. Everyone stand into order. Hey, where's your weapon? Oh, those ones changed. So as you can see, they basically just move around. And this was a very interesting mechanic that I played all around for, for a very long time. And eventually found out that the redstone signal is what's making them move. That was interesting, but it's still not all we want. Not even close. This It has the same problem as the last test. It, like I said at the beginning, it needs to be able to move. This can move. This can move. And this can move. That can drop items. That's only two of four. And they're not all put together yet. So I take you to my final prototype this my friends is the robot 3000 and the one i probably put in the thumbnail so yeah you guys have you guys know as you can see it has all the features it can move it can drop items i put diamonds as an example and it can also defend itself the fireworks oh yeah if you didn't notice about fireworks, I'll actually get some fireworks right now to demonstrate. This is a little demonstration. Fireworks may go up in the air, but f fireworks are basically a block. You place them, but they're the opposite of sand. They float up, then they explode. For some reason, these ones aren't exploding, but you get my point. And with these features, that pretty much sums it up. It can defend itself. By, if I was standing right here walking towards it, I'd get shot with an arrow. I know there's a lot going on, but bear with me. It could throw items, as you can see. Any item you put in there, it will throw. And it can also move. Yeah, like that. And then, if we go to the back here, it can place blocks. And this is all powered by the skulk sensor. All of this is a big tribute to 1.16... And what you can really do with these mechanics, but none of you care about that. How would you make this thing? It's pretty standard. 
there will probably be a list of items in the description so check that out and probably on the side of the screen as we go along i don't know because i'm recording the video not editing it so you know just just stay with me here as you see it can drop items now i put these in here so it's not going to just drop these items if you make it whatever you put in here it'll drop also, it's powered by vibrations, so if a chicken were to come by, it would power off. <laughs> Just a little heads up. So, how do you actually make this? It's pretty straightforward. The hardest material is probably going to be the scope sensor, because it's not exactly a naturally generating resource. So sadly, right now, you can only make these in your creative ward. Very sad, because you can only get the scope sensor in creative or by command. First, you start off with a scope sensor, and then the rest is actually really simple. I mean, I'll do a quick little building montage, just so you guys can enjoy. So, yeah, let's get into that. Well guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I have got all four features of my AIs in Minecraft. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. It helps out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!